Modern cyber criminals are becoming more and more sophisticated these days. As brick and mortar companies move to the internet seeking new profits, so follows criminals looking for the exact same thing. This trend is on a fast track, and cyber threats, according to the FBI, soon suppress threats from terrorists. While criminals follow these companies, it isn't their information or money they're after, it's yours, the user. With so much your own personal data stored and passed on the internet, it's important to know how to protect yourself and your virtual wallets. The first step in defending yourself is knowing exactly what you're guarding against. Unethical computer hackers, also known as black hats, have their hand in countless types of cybercrime. Today in this video, I'll review some of the largest new emerging threats. Have you ever seen the screen on your computer? Some message about the FBI locking your computer due to illegal activity? Some block of legal looking jargon next to some various suggested methods of payments? And lastly, your own webcam to show you've been identified? This is a type of malware called ransomware, and once it has found its way into your computer, locks your system down and forces you to pay the culprit to grant you access again. This revived tool from 1989 has resurfaced now and become a more widespread threat due to the increasing amount of quick, easy, and potentially anonymous methods of online payment. In most of the cases, it stops at locking your screen down and can be fortunately removed. In other types, the computer files are encrypted, and in these cases, it is almost impossible to retrieve your data. Two of the biggest technical changes you as a user can make to protect yourself from these threats is to always keep your operating system and installed programs up to date and install real-time protection security programs. Just like with ransomware, most black hats create computer threats to make money. Therefore, it makes sense that as more people run Windows operating systems than Apple's OS X, that those Windows computers would be targeted more often. This is the same for mobile phones. As 70% of smartphone users have Android-based phones, current emerging threats in this field are targeted towards this OS. Two of these new threats, called Spitmo and Zitmo, are variants of their computer counterparts, SpyEye and Zeus, designed specifically for Android phones. If you're not familiar with modern online banking, as the use of cell phones increased, many times when users like you log on to their banking accounts, the second part of a two-fold authentication process is that the bank sends an authentication code to the user's phone via text message. This code is then required to access the account. These Trojan programs are set up to make a copy of that message and forward it silently to the hacker. This process is seen by some as complicated as it requires the user to have been infected in both their computer and their phone. Yet it has the potential to give criminals access to some of the most secure banking processes and therefore has attracted quite a bit of attention. How do you protect yourself from a threat that is not widely known by antivirus programs? Well, when installing a new phone application, pay close attention to the permission items requested by the application. You might not want to continue when you begin to install a game and request access to send SMS messages. The biggest thing you can do is just to be careful about links sent in text messages. Even links or files sent from friends' phones can be potentially dangerous if they have been infected themselves. The most widely spread threat that faces you as a user is social engineering or being tricked into breaking normal security procedures. In terms of the internet, it has to do with being tricked into letting your guard down on social networks by something that seems legitimate because it was sent by someone you know. With fast-growing and popular social network platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, the sheer volume of users make them a top target. Recently, backdoor viruses have been spreading quite fast across the social networks because while the average American only has two to six strong ties or real-life friends, the average Facebook user has 130. The way these viruses work the more connected a user is, the more likely they are to spread it to others. Not only being connected to that many people, but with the help of users who connect their multiple networks together, this threat will not see an end in the near future. The way most of these types of viruses find their way into your computer is from messages sent by viruses from friends who have already had their account compromised. Contained in this message will be a link and a message that encourages users to click by either appealing to authority, greed, or vanity. Many contain links to suggested persons' photos or videos that the user would not want others to see. In the case of the more recent threat that affects users of Twitter are direct messages sent from friends linking them to a YouTube video. Once on that site, the user is prompted to update their computer to watch the video. Going any further from here will cause you to become prey to these now very prevalent viruses. How can you protect yourself from being a victim? Well, the biggest thing you can do is to change some of your habits. Do not connect to networks for the sake of doing so, and if you do, know how each site affects the other 
and what permissions are given to each. Modern browser-based programs and plugins usually do not require you to install anything on demand, so if you're being told to do so by a website, be wary. Don't rely completely on automated updates. Play an active role in keeping your programs such as Adobe Flash, Java, and other computer programs up to date. It will be less likely that you'll be fooled by a ploy to install a virus posing as one of these updates. While Facebook does have an active role in protecting its users by blacklisting links from trillions of clicks a day, it is ultimately your actions that keep your computer safe. I hope after this video you feel more in tune with today's cyber threats and ready to protect yourself. Don't stop there though. The internet is full of resources and ways to protect yourself as new threats are appearing all the time. Now go ahead and enjoy the internet from the safety of your own knowledge.